What's up, Applecore? Uh, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into this first game of our Shaman Arena series. Uh, here we go. And there we go. So yeah, this, this deck is pretty awesome. Uh, we have two Lightning Storms, three Lightning Bolts, a lot of early game removal with one Forked Lightning, and uh, one Earth Shock as well. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is our card draw mechanics. I think we only have two. Um, I believe we only have a Loot Hoarder and an Acolyte of Pain to draw us two cards, potentially. So as long as we don't get card starved, we're okay. We have a lot of really good synergy with the Unbound Elementals and all of the Overload effects, so... Uh, we'll see, man. Should be interesting. Alright. So we have the coin, and wow. Um, we're not going to keep Lightning Storm or Doomhammer in opening hand. We will keep the three drop, because uh, we do have coin. We can play this on turn two if we have nothing else. Uh, we will keep Lightning Bolt as well um, for early game removal, depending on what he plays, just in case we don't get anything. Wow, nice. Let's hope he plays. Yeah, let's hope we really get some use of this Blood Knight. Like I was saying during the uh, selection process, a lot of people play Divine Shields right now. It's very popular. So, um, Since we don't have another 2 drop, and since we have 2 3 drops, um, hmm. you know what? There's a good chance I'm going to want a Lightning Bolt next turn. So we're going to coin out the Brewmaster right now. There's a good chance I'm going to want a Lightning Bolt, whatever he plays. So... Uh, I want to get the 2-drop out there before I have to use this on whatever he's going to use. Um, yeah, because I probably won't want to coin out a 3-drop and let it trade fit, uh, let it die to something with 3 attack, which is very common. Okay. Um, Wrath is fine for us. Wrath is fine. Nice. We got a little bit lucky to draw that 2-drop, otherwise I would have just summoned a totem. Um, so let's throw that out there. We do have a Doom Hammer in this deck, but we're not going to try and hang on to a Doom Hammer to, just to buff the pirate, so. Um, yeah. Let's see. Hopefully. Oh, wow. He has nothing to play. That is awesome, man. That is so good. Uh, Goldshire Footman. Damn. Uh, yeah, that's so good, man. That's so good for us. Um, cool. So, yeah, let's see. We're definitely going to kill this. Like that. Now the question is, do we want to heal this guy? Or do we want to go with the more diversified play with Razorfed Hunter? Um, if he's going to drop a Yeti next turn... Um, let's see. If he's going to drop a Yeti next turn, we just need something with two damage to live to kill it off. So either this guy or this guy. Um, and there's a chance he might not play a Yeti. He might play something bad. And since... Yeah, let's go ahead and play the Boar. Or the Razorfed Hunter. Let's do that. And then we'll just pass our turn. Um, we're trying to take into consideration what he could possibly drop on turn 4. Um, it doesn't... I don't think there's anything really threatening that I can think of. Um, and it's always better to diversify your board if you can. So, even though the board does die to a swipe, um, the 2-2 would live. So, And we would maintain board control as well. Um, yeah, let's see what he drops here. Uh, another Wrath. A Keeper. Wow, okay. Hopefully that's it. Yeah. Um, nice. Wow, that's really good. So, if we want to, we could just trade here and Lightning Bolt and keep the 2 3 healthy. Um, however, we could Lightning Bolt and play Earth and Ring Farce here, or Voodoo Doctor with a Totem, which might be more powerful to make use of our hero ability. Um, although this puts plus one damage on the board to deal with something like a Druid of the Claw next turn. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, we're definitely thinking about Druid of the Claw right now, so we're going to go ahead and play the Earth and Ring Farce here, most likely. Well, it, really awkward. We just have to hope he doesn't have Druid of the Claw. There's a, there's a chance I could ignore this, as a matter of fact. Um, hmm. This is actually extremely tough. Okay, we're going to go with the Lightning Bolt play, and we're going to drop Earth and Ring Farce here. We're going to hope he does not have a Druid of the Claw. Um, well, actually, you know what? We're going to bounce this guy. We're going to Earth and Ring here. And then we're going to Lightning Bolt. Um, if he does have a Druid of the Claw, it's crucial that I keep this 1-1 one, one alive. It is absolutely crucial. Um, and since it's, it doesn't matter if we overload our turn 5, because we're going to have 4... Um, we don't have really any spectacular 
um, turn five plays. So we do have a turn four play. Damn, he had the Druid of the Claw. <laughs> oh man, and we got a really good turn five play. Um, that's really unfortunate how that worked out. Really unfortunate. But uh, we can kill the Druid of the Claw, but we have to sack two for one. Uh, a two for one trade here. Um, so, I guess we're just going to give it to him so we can kill this. Um, yep, we're going to go ahead and do it. Keep board control. So, three, four, five, six. Um, so as predicted, he had the Druid of the Claw. And, um, yeah, so we had keeping that 1-1 one, one alive was absolutely crucial. Um, the other play would have been to ignore the 2-4, um, and then just play the Earthen Ring, hope that it lives, and then use the Lightning Bolt on the Druid of the Claw instead. Um, but either way, it's essentially the same outcome. Um, pretty much almost everything dies, so... Yeti, okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Uh, we're not going to go with RNGs here, we're just going to drop our Ogre. And we're going to go through for three. Um, we're going to hope he trades the Yeti on my Blood Knight, and then I can play Doomhammer to kill the Yeti next turn, potentially, along with a Mad Bomber. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see if he plays something like an Ancient of Lore on turn seven to draw some cards. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully nothing too scary. Okay. And a Ghoul. Alright, and then he kills... Wait, really? I don't know, wait, why would he do that? <laughs> what? Wait, that was a complete mistake. Not killing the Blood Knight was huge. Um, yeah, that was a gigantic mistake. Oh, man. Um, okay. So, what I can do here is uh, I can take a favorable trade here and here. Um, well, here first, so the ghoul doesn't gain plus one. Um, I can equip the Doom Hammer, and I can try and kill the Leper Gnome with Mad Bomber. I think it would be better to summon a totem and hope for a healing totem, though. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so we're gonna do the, the we're gonna do this play right here. Let's see what totem we get. I change our play. A taunt totem. Hmm. Okay, so let's take our favorable trade here. Uh, so the ghoul doesn't get buffed from anything dying. Uh, let's take our favorable trade here. Um, here. And then we're going to go for the face. And start making use of the weapon. Um, I think that was a huge mistake by him. He doesn't have a huge card advantage or anything. So there's no reason why he should go for face and not take his favorable trades on the board. Um, I don't really understand why he would do that. So now my blood knight lives. Killed his ghoul uh, for free. Uh, for free, meaning my guy is still alive. Let's see if he has a swipe to clean this up. Um, a swipe would probably equalize me. Oh wow, Mad Bomber's going to be so good here. Um, I might not even need to. Is that all he's going to play? Right, and a claw to kill the totem. Wow. <laughs> Our taunt totem just got insane value. That is so awesome, man. That is so awesome. And he kills in the ogre. Okay, wow. Well... You know what? Um, hmm. This could be interesting. Let's attack with the Blood Knight first, and let's try and Mad Bomber this. Even if the Mad Bomber kills our Blood Knight, if he kills one of the Murlocs, I think it's still a good play. On the other hand, I could just kill both of them with Doomhammer and summon a totem with Violet Teacher. Yeah, let's do that instead. I think that's better, especially if we get a healing totem. Nice. Thank you, Iron Jesus. I appreciate that. So we'll attack there and there and go through from three. Uh, nice, man. And we have complete board control now. We are in an excellent position here. And our Blood Knight is now out of swipe range as far as the one damage for AoE. So, uh, yeah, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, yeah, he only played the Murloc last turn, so... What is this? A silence, okay. And a claw to kill the Blood Knight, okay. That's good. I was worried that uh, Mad Bomber might uh, kill my Blood Knight. So uh, the goal right now is to get Mad Bomber to hit this guy once, so I can kill him with Doomhammer, and that is the objective. Oh wow! Let's play the Acolyte first too. Hopefully we hit the Acolyte and draw a card. Um, all right. Let's just, just in case. Well, all right. Let's go ahead and do this and see what happens. 
We hit the silence once. Nice. Now I can kill it with Doom Hammer. Uh, summon another totem. And go through for three. Um, and we will go for face as well with this Doom Hammer charge. I'm at 14 life, so it's unlikely that I'll be using the Doom Hammer on creatures again anytime soon, unless I absolutely have to. I want to stay as healthy as possible. So, uh, yeah, it's good stuff though, man. We're in a really great position. I think we have this game locked down. Um, yep. <laughs> and there is the concede, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. We knocked him down. Alright. Uh, cool. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Let me go ahead and alt tab out here. There we go. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, thank you guys for watching, as always. Hopefully, uh, if you did enjoy the video, you'll like and subscribe. Um, and also, if you're interested, I do run a live stream on Twitch.tv. I will be streaming today from uh, starting in just a minute here um, until, I don't know, into the late, late night, early morning uh, for a long time. Probably another 8 to 10 hour stream tonight. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys there. And uh, let's see, open this up here. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching, Applecore. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow.